everyone, Allison Tebow here. Today we are making guac and this is perhaps my favorite recipe of guac. I mean, me and avocado were like, you know, best friends. And I was introduced to this incredible guac recipe and I am going to share it with all of you. So I hope you're just as excited as I am. Here are the ingredients that are included in our guac recipe. Uh, we have a fresh cilantro, a tomato, two very ripe avocados. You can tell because you can squeeze and squish them. Um, garlic, lime, onion, salt, and pepper. For our first step, of making our incredible guac recipe is cutting the avocado. So you just take your knife, you slice it all the way through and around. If you're not so knife savvy, be careful. And you can tell, you know, it's fully ripe. Look at its beautiful color. Okay, so we're going to take a spoon and just spoon it. Look how easy that was to scoop out. Done. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Sometimes a pit gets stuck, so I usually just like take a knife and slap at the seed and it pulls out very easily. But this is a super ripe avocado. No need to do that, it scoops right out. And we'll do that again with our second avocado. Take this, take our super large spoon, scoop around, done. See, no avocado wasted. Don't want to waste this part. So I'll show you what I mean about the knifing. So chop, twist, turn, here it is. And you can just, uh, I probably shouldn't do that for safety reasons. I'll just leave that seat on the knife. Bob can remove it. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop out the avocado. Go into the bowl. I'm gonna mash that onto the next. Now comes for the chopping, the fun part. Okay, so I'm gonna take the cilantro. It's not washed yet. I'm just preparing it for the wash. So I'm going to take you know, a good handful or so, chop that, put the rest aside to save it for its next use, and then just Again, if you don't have um, great knife skills or if you're not that confident in your knife skills, just please be careful, move slow. It's always better to be safe than sorry. We can always do like one of these. I don't have the best knifing skills, but you guys get it. Okay, so this is going to all go into this small bowl. I'm just gonna rinse it with veggie wash. I just use like equal parts um, vinegar and water. It's actually cheaper and cleaner to do it that way. Okay, there we go. All right, next up, the onion. So we're really only gonna use maybe like a quarter to a third of this onion. It's pretty big. Take this. Okay. And then let's just slice the end off. Okay. So we don't want to use any of this stuff. Peel the outer layer. Put that to the side. I'll toss it out in a little bit. I'm just gonna slice it from like quarters and then just chop finely. I 
Again, please be careful with your knifing skills. So we're gonna put this off to the side. Next up is the garlic. Okay, this is my favorite part. So you, what you do with the garlic, you just place it flat like that, unlike a very stable um, part of the garlic. You take the flat end of your knife, place it around top, and just press down, just like that, like it's a party. <laughs> and look at how it opens up nicely. This makes everything taste so good. And actually garlic is really, really good for gut health. Okay, and here's a great example. This garlic is bad, don't use it. So this one is good. Okay, chop, chop, chop. Smells so good. Okay, so we got this garlic. Let's add in the second one. So actually, when I used to make wok, I never used garlic. Um, and then when I found out garlic was part of the recipe, I was like, ah, oh, makes sense why it tastes so good. All that outer part off. Ah, it wants to stick to me. Okay. There we go. Whenever you're chopping something, you just want to make sure it's on a stable surface because if you're cutting like on a rounded portion of the vegetable or fruit or whatever you're chopping it's going to slide from underneath you so please be careful especially with sharp knives um this knife was a gift uh from one of my clients who's also a physician um and i'm so grateful for this gift it's such a nice gift from him thank you Okay, there's your garlic. And now onto the lime. So I already had half a lime in my fridge and it's still good. No need to waste food, right? Okay. And, oh, I don't even know why I cut the edge off because I'm just gonna squeeze it. So we're just gonna squeeze it in here. And also the acidity from the lime will prevent the avocado from browning. And then we're gonna add those ingredients in. I'm gonna wash this and let's see how it comes out. Oh, wait, I am gonna chop the tomato. We need that. So I'm gonna take the, this end off, right? Flat surface, so it's stable. Okay, flat surface, flat surface. Tomato's a tough one because it's very like soft and liquidy. Okay, and 
when we chop it up in there, it's gonna break up into smaller pieces anyway, so. So, here is our onion, garlic, and chopped tomato. I'm going to take the non-sharp edge of the knife and just kind of scoop it right into the bowl with the avocado. I did not mash the avocado just yet. We're gonna do that right now. Okay. We're at our cilantro as well. If you guys can smell this right now, it's so good. Okay. Also, salt and black pepper. Couple twists. And you know what? With seasonings, you can always add more. So don't freak out if you know you need exact measurements because we all have different, you know, palettes. Um, some people don't like as much salt or as much pepper. I'm using about a teaspoon of each, if that. I have my wooden spatula. everything together. Look how colorful that is. But you know, regarding seasonings, it's always best to start off with smaller portions first because you can always add. You can't take it out. <laughs> Just gonna mix, mix, mix. And with all of these flavors coming together, it's going to taste incredible. And it's so easy. You know what you're putting in there, unlike other already made guacs. Like what are they using, you know? I didn't have to add any oil to this, which most places do do that. workout in this as well. Okay. And here is your guac. How easy was that? Okay. Now I'm going to try it because I can't help myself. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. Now here comes the best part. Okay. Here are Siete chips. This is not paid programming by Siete, by the way. They just happen to be one of my favorite chips. Um, and I'm just going to dip it in the wok and enjoy myself. So, mm -hmm. 